That's great. I'm glad they called them. I hope it's not too hot at the hot spots. <laughs> well, a big tree, so it can always be under a tree. All right. So again, this is Nelly Deutsch. I'm recording for uh, uh, YouTube, and uh, Diefeld was just telling us about the hot spots at the park where she's going to go afterwards. All right. So let's see. Diefeld is a teacher. I'm a teacher. Nerosha is advanced. Alex. Beginners, intermediate, or advanced, just let us know so we know how fast to speak. Not that it makes a difference, but people feel better when we speak slowly. Um, and Abhilasha, are you a beginner? And who else is here? KVN, beginner, Dinish, Dinish? Okay, let me know beginners, quad loop. Jack Shen Shen. Hello, Jack. Just let us know where you're from and if you're a beginner. So B, I, A, or T if you're a teacher. There we go. Hello, Jayati, and welcome. I guess people are still coming in. I took off my video. Myself from India. Hello, myself from India. What is your name? Abhalisha? Is that correct? So just let us know. Abhalisha. Hello. Okay, tell us if what level? Level of English. Okay, we want to know your level. What is your level of English? What is DFL, can you write in the chat? Because my chat is so slow. It, it just doesn't want to go fast. I mean, your level of English. Is yours going faster? Of English. It's like writing slow motion. Okay, there I wrote it. Oh, I forgot the S didn't come out. Let's see if I can add an H. There we go. So what is your level of English? I got it. All right, today's session is about learning through blogs. How many of you have blogs? Okay, thank you, Danish. Blogs. No, it's not the connection that's slow. It's my... I don't know. Um, it's the keyboard coordination. <laughs> so we've got KVN is B. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So um, we'll talk about blogs. So how many of you have blogs? Give me a thumbs up if you've got a blog. Was? Was that German? Wait a minute, I just lost. Oh no. Okay, do you have a blog? If you have a blog, give me a thumbs up for a blog. Do you have a blog? I have about 25 blogs. Do you have at least one blog? Hello, Vikram. Good to see you. Do you have a blog? No, still not. I hear you, DFL, talking. Sounds like German to me. I think maybe you muted no. the wrong thing. Okay, DFL, I heard the conversation. I think you. I think you wanted to mute your audio and not your video. All right, so do you have blog? Let me see if I lost my voice. No, I did. No, I didn't. All right. Do you have a blog? Oh, thank you. What is a blog? All right, what is a blog? Well, look it up on right now. What is a blog? Let me tell you what a blog is. 
Any ideas? What is a blog? Maybe someone can share with us and tell us what is a blog. Oh, I'm so glad you don't know because this is a chance to learn. Because in today's world, you must know what a blog is. So what is a blog? Blogs in plain English. So I'm going to share this with you. Are you ready? Are you ready? You've seen the word. All right. Does everybody get YouTube video? Ah, very nice, very nice. That is very, very true. Okay, let's see. We can add this to the playlist. No, it doesn't work. Hmm. What is a blog? What is a blog? YouTube. I had a really good YouTube video, but um, for some reason it didn't work, so let me get it again. Okay, I hope this time it works. You've seen the, word. You've seen the, website. You've seen the word, you've seen the websites, and you may even okay, have one. So let's but have get you information on what is a blog. You ready, everyone? Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Here's a video on what is a blog. I can't add it to uh, the class for some reason. It doesn't want to show itself here. So I don't know why. It doesn't want to share. I have never seen anything like this. But it doesn't want to share in the classroom. So maybe you can listen to it. Oh, I think I can now. All right, let me try. No, nope, it won't show me. Isn't that weird? No? Look at that. I can't share it. Is that ever interesting? All right, let me screen share. Maybe that'll help. It won't let me. Oh, it blocked for you too. Just the embed. But I just want to you know, share it with the world. What's the problem? Isn't that interesting? I've never seen that before. All right. So a blog is a way to share and blogs are free. I just want to write that blogs are free and it's a way to share. Okay. So let's, um, let's go over what we did last week. Nothing seems to be working today. <laughs> That's that's funny. All right. So let's see what we did last week. Okay. This week we're going to talk about blogs and we're going to talk about the Olympics. How many of you are following the Olympics? Give me a thumbs up. Are you following the Olympics? Hands up if you're following the Olympics. Yes. Wonderful. All right. No, you're not. Oh, well, you're going to, you're going to follow the Olympics because that's your homework for the week. All right. So last week we talked about James Egan Holmes. How many did your homework? Give me a thumbs up if you did your homework or a smiley. Did you do your homework? Yes. Moment of truth. Did you do your homework? Remember, you were supposed to create a PowerPoint presentation. Oh, you're new. Okay, so for next week, you will create this. You're supposed to look up James, okay, in the news. Last week, we talked about the news. James Egan Holmes and what happened on July 20th, 2012 in Colorado. You were supposed to write who? what, where, when, how, and why in a PowerPoint presentation. And this week you're going to write about what is happening in the Olympics in London. And here is the website. I don't know if I can share. I'll try to share the screen with you. 
and show you where you can go to get information about the Olympics. I think my phone is ringing and it looks like it's my husband from Colombia. Okay, let's see if the screen sharing is working. Looks like it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to screen share. When I finish screen sharing, you may find, okay, dear, so let me give you back your voice. You may find that your chat has gone to the bottom. Okay, so let me know if it's black, green, purple, or blue. <laughs> what color is it? It's through, yeah. It's... All right, so you see it? Okay, tell me if you see the London2012.com. That's a very fun... Great. All right, so... Look, everybody, I'm going to get the link for you. This is where you're going to get. This is the official London Olympics website. This is where it's all happening. You can listen to videos of what's going on. You can read the news. You can see lots of photos, which is great. Okay. And everything is happening. You can also get information from the finalists and from others okay so this is really really exciting um, their photos voice of the games okay here we go and today is Sunday the 29th and you can get all the news of what's happening Okay, so it's really, really exciting. I hear some background noise there. Do you thought there's gymnastics? And it's all in English, so it's a chance to learn. And don't forget, you can use Google Docs. You can join this. And you've got the different countries, of course, that are participating. Okay, Africa, Asia, Europe. Lots of great information. Okay, so that's the website. Let me go back to the class, okay, and share the website with you. Here we go. Here's the website. Now, if your chat disappeared, there's an arrow. So just pop it up. Okay, there's an arrow. Click on the arrow, and it'll pop right back. I hear sound. I don't know why. Not on my end. It's all quiet here. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I don't know why. Do you hear something? No, not at all. Nope. Hmm. All right. Okay, so um, you will write who. You write whatever you decide to choose. You will write who is participating, what is going on, where is it, when it happened, how things were going, and what happened and why it happened. Okay, so all this information from one story, you can have many stories in your own words. No copy-paste. Okay, no copy-paste. You write it in your own words. And you may want to translate and then use Google Translate. That's how I'm, my students do it. But you still get your own words. Okay, and where you're going to do this, let me share. Again, I should have kept the share. The idea is to read, create a PowerPoint presentation or a piece of writing. You get the information you do not copy. You reference the links where you got the information. Okay, so the London... In this case, okay, there is the link, but you have to add the name of the link. What is that link? Okay, hyperlink any words you wish. Get photos, images, and add headlines. Lots of headlines. The tools you can use, of course, is Microsoft PowerPoint. You can use Jing. It's free. 
for the uh, cutting and pasting. Google Translate, the internet. You need a microphone because you want to record your voice and blogging programs. And we're going to talk about where you can blog. Okay, so again, this is from last week. All this is on the slide that you can get on WizIQ in the classroom. Now, let me share a website with you. Okay, this is where you're going to join the blog. This is a collective blog for the class. Okay, so it's called leo4u.org. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's coming through. There you go. And this is what it looks like. When you open it up, you will see this. Okay, it's a tree, treetop with branches and leaves. This photo was taken in Toronto near my daughter's street. She lives by the beach. And it was in the fall when the trees and the leaves were all these beautiful colors. So how many of you are in the website? Just let me know if you're in. Give me a thumbs up if you're in or a smiley. Are you there? Okay, thumbs up if you're there. Thumbs down if you're not. So are you there? Don't forget that this is being recorded, so you will be able to see this many, many times. So good, Theothel. Both of us, well, I'm not really in. It's open. So let me know, Alex, you're back online. Let me know if you're in. Click on the link, as Diethold just said. And let me see if I can screen share the site for you, even though I have everything you need to see from the... Oh, you didn't go in? All right, let me add it again. All right, there's the website. It's called Leo for You. Okay, Leo, L E O, the number for you.org. Okay, there it is. Quadloop. Quadloop, can you go in? Let me know if you can go in. And I will screen share again. Okay, if you click on the link, because the link is hyperlinked. Remember that word? All right, so let me take you there. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's go home. Can you see that, Diethalt? Is it visible? Absolutely. Oh, great. All right, very good. Okay, they'll be able to see it. Everybody will be able to see it in the recordings. All right, so let me go to the top of the page. There you see the trees, okay, with the colors. And then you've got, well, I should go out so you see, because this is my account. I'm in as me, but this is what you should see. All right, you've got home, activity, members, groups, forums, blog, classes on WizIQ, Facebook group. We have a Facebook group that you may want to join. This is where you introduce yourself. Leo for you. That's the course on WizIQ and different links. Now you want to create an account because you don't have a username or password. So you click on create an account. And then you have the form. You must fill in everything in the form. Okay, gender, male or female, I'm female. Okay, you must fill in everything because if you don't, I will not approve you. You have to add if you're a student or teacher or both and then you sign up. Once you sign up, you log in using your username and password. And this is what you will see, your photo. You have to add your photo, okay? And then there's lots of information, and you'll be able to 
add to your account. All right, add your blog and everything. You can also join groups. Okay, there are a few groups here. You can also create a group. Okay, there's Kata. Okay, Kata created a group called Reading Practice. You can also create and join groups. Here is Learning English Online for Students. I suggest you join this group. Okay, there it is. Okay, and then it's like Facebook. You can communicate and add your questions and so on. All right, so let me go back to class and show you how you can do it. All right, so, okay, you create an account. Okay, there it is. Let me, I think, if you need me to add the link again, okay, I will add it. Okay, so you sign up. There are different places to sign up. You can create one. Create an account here. And then once you create an account and you fill in all the information, you go in by adding your username and password. Yes, exactly. That's where you get one-on-one -on -one help. Um, Quadaloupe, exactly. You get your content and the classes on WizIQ but you will get your help here. This is where you will get help from Diethold and I. Okay, so you need to create an account. Okay, or here where it says sign up. Sign up. Hello. Hello, Kanan. Okay, let me continue showing you. This is the form. It's very important to fill in all the information because I get a lot of spam. <laughs> So if you want me not to think of you as spam, you must add all this information. You must add your profile details. Okay, your profile, your occupation, your introduction and profile are the same. So copy and paste the same thing. Okay, so notice introduction and profile are exactly the same. Okay, once you fill it in, I hope you're doing it now. Uh, I took off calendar of events, but you'll have the WizIQ classes and Leo. All the WizIQ classes are here that I create, and Leo is the course that you signed up for. And of course, don't forget to introduce yourself in the introductions. So let's go back to the form and let me know if you're having any problems with the form. Thank you Dethold for writing that in words. All right, hello Helena, good morning. Let me pass on, I think Helena's there, she's been there for a while. Let me pass on, I hope you're decent, I just passed on the webcam. Helena, you're decent. All right, good morning, so good to see you this Sunday morning. Or afternoon, if it's afternoon. Yeah, I'm so happy that I I didn't manage to be here on time. But in Poland, it's lunchtime and Sunday, oh. so I'm mother and the wife, so I couldn't. <laughs> but I'm here now, and I'm very happy. I'm going to do all the tests, and I didn't have time, but I will do it. I just promise. I promise. I will. All right. So you're promising. You're promising in front of uh, a lot of people because this is being recorded. So imagine if thousands of people will hear your promise. <laughs> and thank Hello. you. Thank you for joining us. So Helena is also going to help. Helena is a student and teacher just like we all are. But Helena will also be helping and facilitating and um, doing her homework, of course. All right. I so. will do it. <laughs> I will. I'm sorry, I didn't. No, okay. Okay, I'm here and listening. All right. Okay. So Do yes, that's right. It's a public pledge. All right. It says I have a connection problem. You do quadlop. Why would you have a connection problem? Are you using an apps, an iPad, or apps? What are you using, uh, Quadaloop? 
There's no reason why you should be having problems. Okay, so we're trying to log into um, learning Leo for you, a lap. Okay, so we're on, um, again, here's the link for those who are coming in. Uh, Helena's already there, so maybe Helena can welcome you as you come in. Um, it's Leo for you. This is where you can add your homework, for you.org. And Leo, oh, I missed the O. Oh, oops, I better not. Uh, Leo, there we go. Leo for you. Okay, there it is. It should be working. Oh, lag, you mean. Connection lag, not lap. A lap is for uh, the Olympics. And since we are talking about the Olympics this week, um, and uh, next week, I think, as well. I think that this will be for at least two weeks. Helena, you came in late. Um, the idea is to follow the official, let me get it for you, the official Olympics website and to write about one or more episodes. Okay, so report on what you see and hear over there and read of course um, and write about it on Leo for you so let me let me just go into my email and check if um, because you need let's see if you have joined if anyone has joined so far so I can confirm oh I see one let's see who that is uh, Nirosha. Nirosha. Is Nirosha here? Let me know if Nirosha is a real person. Nirosha. I'm not sure if this is... Is Nirosha there? Are we getting a response from Nirosha? Because I need to see... No, right? See, I get a lot of spam. That's why I want you to... Please, I'm going to... Um, to fill in all the information. But Nirosha looks like a real name, you know? But if I'm not getting, um, if I'm not getting, I'm going to delete Nirosha. If I don't get, um, you know, the form filled in completely, as far as I'm concerned, that's spam. You know, I get something like 100 spams a day. 100 people register, but they're not really people's. Uh, most of them are from China. I have no idea why the Chinese would want to spam. But, <laughs> but I'm sure it's just a machine. You know, it's not people who are spamming. It's a machine. Yeah, thank you, dear thought. So fill in everything. Um, Helena, are you filling in maybe as another person to try out the system? Or Helena's working on her homework? <laughs> yeah, I did, but I lost it all. What do you mean? Because they called me up. <laughs> yeah, my family needed me, so I lost it. I did, I did, but I will do it again. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me. You know, I'm, I'm laughing because I think the best way to learn is when you keep doing things over and over again, but sometimes it's annoying. It always gets better. It's, it always gets better when you um, when you redo what you do, but sometimes it's too much. I agree. All right. So how is everybody doing? Just let me know in the chat box. Are you filling in the form? How's it going? Yeah, but sometimes you know you practice. It's more practicing. You know how um, patient you are. Your patience than anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know how patient can you be done Jack okay Jack just make sure let me um, go in thank you Jack 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 is from China am I correct I don't want to make a mistake okay let's see member request um, let's see if this is Jack I don't Jack are you I don't know if this is spam or not. 
it says Lee Wiki. Jack, is this your email? It looks like spam to me. I'm amazed by the spammers. They're so fast. So Jack, is this your email? Let me just, uh, or you know what, Jack, maybe, I know Jack is here, but he said he created. Is this your email by any chance, or is this a spammer? Spammers are not people, as I said, they're machines. So Jack, is this you? I don't think so, right? So Jack, did you um, add your, your real name? What is your username that might help me? No, that's not you. I didn't think so. That's a spammer. All right, so let me try again. I don't see um, Jack. Let me. Um, let me see if um, I get the messages from spammers so quickly, but I don't have yours yet. What is your username? Okay, I'm just going to go straight into the website and see if um, I still have this Iki, this LiWiki that I'm going to ban. And I don't see anyone else. So, um, you know what? To avoid any problems, why don't I just add you? Okay, let's see. There we go. Oh, Jack 1978. That's a good year. Okay. Let's see if I... Okay, I got you. Thank... I think so. I've got Kvanish... Okay, I have someone else, not Jack. Someone... Okay, I've got KVN. Good for you. Great. Uh, let me approve you. I got KVNA. Okay, I just approved you. Okay, I'm waiting for Jack now. Did you fill in all the information? Make sure you fill in all the information so I know who you are. Or just write, hello, Nelly. That would be fine, too, and then you can fill in your information later. That's also a good way to do it. Okay, Jack, I'm waiting to see. I hope I didn't delete. No, I didn't. I didn't delete anyone. I wonder if Nerosha was somebody. Hmm. You know, Nerosha looks like someone... that may be part of WizIQ. It seems like a real name. Okay, Jack, um, you sure you completed everything? Maybe you needed to click on send or save or um, something because I'm not getting it. You know, sometimes, um, Jack, is it possible? I can also add you, you know. Um, that's also, excuse me, a possibility. Yeah, I have a suggestion, Nelly. Yes. Uh, that people sent us an email and we add them. That's yeah, that's a good way. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. All right, so um, let me know, Jack, if you completed the form. 
because maybe something was left out. All right, let me um, pass on the mic to you so you can share. Uh, those of you who did your homework, perhaps share what you did last week, your PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, Jack, I think that maybe you just, uh, you didn't uh, click on send or submit or something like that. But okay, um, let me write down my email so you can um, send me. You can also do it through WizIQ. Send me a message and I will add you. I need your email. I'll tell you what I need. I need your email or I'll tell you what I need when you email me. Dot com. Okay, that's my, that's my email. Exactly, you need to, so copy and paste, okay, that's it. Um, the profile, just write, um, I'm a friend of Nelly, Nelly, if you write my name, that'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so in your profile, if you don't want to write it now, you can just write, um, I'm a friend of Nelly's or something, and then I will approve it, because I approve everyone, because there's a lot of spam as I said, so it's necessary to approve everybody. And you have to fill in a lot of information, so you can copy and paste the same information about you in the introduction and in the profile. Okay, so let's hear from you. Okay, you can do that later on. Oh, I see there's one more. Maybe this is Jack. Nope, that's it. Only one person. Maybe you went into spam. Yeah, it could have happened, Jack, because I also have a spammer. Not that it works, but it looks like it might have worked. Usually doesn't. Let's see if we, if Jack, if you're in the, um, in the spam. All right, so Jack, I, su I suggest you send me an email and I'll add you uh, manually. All right, so uh, let's hear from you. How are you doing? Okay, did you read the article from last week? What do you think about it? Even if you didn't do your homework. Okay, so I'm going to pass on the mic. Who would like to start? Okay, raise your hand if you'd like to uh, speak. Let me go back. Okay, I think it's very important to speak. So let me go back to... Okay, here we go. This is this week's to last week. Okay, so in the news, who's James Egan and what happened? Who would like to share? Okay, raise your hand if you'd like to speak. Okay, KV, since um, I see you have audio. Oh, you don't know how to connect your mic. So you should contact support on WizIQ if you don't know how to connect your mic or you mean you don't know how to connect your mic to me. So I just connected you KV. Let's see if we can hear you. Do you have a headset? You must have a headset. Okay, a headset. So KVN, I gave you the microphone. But I don't hear you. All right, so maybe your microphone is not working. And I'm going to connect to Quadaloupe. I see you have a microphone and you also have a webcam. So I passed on the microphone to you. I don't know if you have a microphone there. You might not. Let's see if you have a mic. Well, it's not coming through. You should check your settings. Maybe I should screen share and show you how to set. Okay, so Quadlap, can you speak? I'm waiting. 
Okay, you have the mic. Hello? Yes, hello. Hello, we hear you. You did it. How are you? How are you? <laughs> That's great. Excitement is great. And being lost is not always such a bad thing. Sometimes it's good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I totally agree with you. All right, so tell us, share a little bit about yourself. I wonder, oh, maybe you have to read, uh, you have to read a code or something? Is there a code? I don't remember anymore. Is there a code? code? Do you have to copy a code that's there? Not a code, uh, letters and, and numbers that are there? Is that what it's asking you to do? Or maybe you need a few, um, a few numbers, password. I don't know if it's eight or six or how many. But make sure that you uh, save your password so you don't forget. There's no catch. Oh, I should add one, do you feel? I'm going to add one. Maybe then I'll be, I'll get less spam. But I think I added. You have to do a mathematics. You have to. I think it's. S four and seven equals or something. That's what I added. <laughs> but I'm still getting sp people to um, machines that are spamming for some reason. So where are you from? Are you asking? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, Guadalupe. I'm from Mexico City. Oh. Yes, that's great. Guadalupe. Ah, that's how it's pronounced. Guadalupe. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Sorry for mispronouncing it. Wow. It's embarrassing. Guadalupe. It was fun to... to <laughs> Do they? No, but I think Guadalupe sounds... Does it mean anything? All right, um, Jack Shen, can I pass on the... Uh... It's a lot easier to talk to you than others. Yes, it probably is. I just passed on the mic to Jack. Jack? Uh, he went... No, he was kicked he out. Went no, he was kicked out by my... Uh, sometimes um, it causes a problem in, in the system. Alex, where are you from? Can I pass the mic to you? Oh, I see that uh, you're using a tablet. Oh, you need you need to have a headset, Alex. Sorry, Alex. You need to when you're using a tablet, you have to have a headset, or it makes a lot of noise. Everybody needs a headset, but if you're using a tablet, even more so. Okay, Alex. So um, get your headset if you can. 
Iman, how are you doing? I'm going to pass on the mic to you. I'm going down the list. If you can share how you managed with the uh, assignment in the news. Who's James Egan? I don't hear a man. Uh, Shika? I think a man is coming to uh, the mic. Sometimes it takes a bit of time. Oh, Nerosha is here. Oh my gosh. Nerosha, I, I took you off. I knew there was a Nerosha. Nerosha is here. How do I get... Oh my gosh, Nerosha. Uh, you'll have to, oops. Nerosha, you'll have to send me your email and I will have to add you manually because I'm afraid we couldn't find you. So Nerosha uh, needs to be reinstated and I don't know if I can do that. So Nerosha, I will add you. Okay, so username Nerosha, and I need your email, and I'll be able to add you. And I think I can even do it right now if you give me, I apologize. If you give me your uh, Nerosha, your email, or send it to me as you wish, I will be able to add you manually. Okay, and that goes for everybody. If you're having problems, um, I will be able to add you Guadalupe as well, manually. Okay, so Alex is going to get a headset. Iman is uh, disabled. Okay, Shikha. Hello, Shikha. Is this your first lesson on Leo? And I'm also going to give the mic to Abhilasha. Let's see if that works. And Raguj. I hope you guys have microphones or it's going to be very noisy as long as you have sorry as long as you have a headset um, I think a lot of people can talk at the same time and we can have as many as 10 webcams so Alex did you get a uh, headset can I pass on the mic to you Uh, yes, you need a headset only for these uh, classes if um, more than one person speaks or if you need to add, <clears throat> excuse me, a YouTube um, video. I wonder why. Maybe I can play it now. Oh, I can play it. No, it won't let me play. It's not interesting. No. It won't let me play. No. This is video new. It cannot be played. The does not allow playback. Player. But it's not embedded. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, this is uh, probably. Yeah, it's probably new. <laughs> this is a new feature. Um, maybe you need a license or something for this. It's a copyright question, I think, because this could be a commercial class. Right. Well, we can certainly put um, audio. Oh, is it playing somewhere else? Helena, it plays? What you, no, it you stopped. Could, you, could share, you could share the link and we can go and watch it. No, I asked that before. That was, That's not the problem. I'm not interested in that. Uh, I added the link. Okay. No, I, I was just hoping that... I thought maybe it was a temporary thing. No, I guess, yeah, it is. It must be um, a copyright now for all videos for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, it must be something because, yeah, was like you will have to take care of it um, and see what's going on. Maybe they need a license to be able to, even though I've never heard of such a thing. All right, so um, let's see. I've given, uh, let's see. Oh, 
nobody else is able to use their mic for some reason. All right, so are you guys um, able to join? Because you'll need to be able to share your work on a blog. Now, if you don't want to join and you want to create your own blog, that's fine too. Create your own blog. You can do that as well. Okay, only when you create your own blog, we will not be able to edit your work. That's the only uh, bad thing. Okay, so you can create your own blog, but we will not be able to um, edit your work. And on Leo for You, we are able to edit okay, your work. Okay, both Deathold and I will be able to edit your work. Okay, uh, this is a special blog. Okay, so that's confusing. Um, okay, Leo, for you, is a special collaborative blog. It's called Buddy Press, for those who are interested. Buddy Press. And that means that many people can join the blog. It's a social blog. You can create groups and discussion forms, which you generally can't on a blog. Usually on the blog, you have a post, you can add comments, and that's it. Or, and you can add people, of course, but you can't add groups. In a buddy press, you can add groups and discussions. Okay, adding comments is very similar to a discussion, but it's not. You can also create your own groups in Leo for you. So if you're interested in creating a group, you can create a group for your friends or on a topic of your interest. All right, so uh, anybody else um, wish to ask any questions before uh, the class ends? We've got a few minutes. Your homework again is to write about what's happening in the Olympics in London. And the official website is right here, london2012.com. Okay, so that's the link. Okay, www.london2012.com. Very easy to remember. So take one or more, and as a reporter, report the news to us. Okay, report the news. Okay, that's your homework for the week. You can also create a PowerPoint presentation. Those of you who created, like Guadalupe, who created a PowerPoint presentation, you're invited to share that on Leo for You. If you have problems, you can always contact me, and I will help you by creating an account for you. So I need your email for that, your full name and username. Okay, and I'll just give you a password, a temporary password. Okay, so you create an account on leo4u.org. You have to fill in all the information, or at least write that this is, that you know Nelly, that you're friends of mine or Diethold. Otherwise, I get a lot of spam, and I don't want to let them become members. Okay, so... Um, this is just, this is being recorded. It'll appear on YouTube. Don't forget to introduce yourself. Okay, add your voice to the voice thread. It's on WizIQ. And I'd like to thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Diethold, Quadlupa, for um, adding your webcam. Everybody else, add your webcam. Get a microphone. It's so much more fun. There, yeah, I'm going to let Helena come back. And if you're using a tablet, Alex, get a headset. You need a headset. You see, mine is really tiny. You can hardly see it. But you need it anyways, even if it's small. Okay, so get one of those um, mobile phones headsets. Okay, for your tablet, Alex, so we can hear you. And you need a microphone. Okay, so you can speak. 
All right, so have a wonderful, wonderful week, everybody. And um, kisses, see you online, hugs, and looking forward to hearing from you. And your voice, don't forget voice thread. So bye, everybody. Have a good one. Have a great week. Thank you, Helena, for joining Diethold Guadalupe. And I want to see your faces. Bye for now. Thank you. Oh, by the way, copy. You can copy the chat. It says copy chat. Copy the chat now and take it with you so that you can have a recording of this. Alex, don't forget to get the headset next time. And maybe you did get a headset. I see your hand is up.